Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. Once you've created a flow direction, we can now, based on the directions of each of these, we can backtrack from each pixel uphill because each arrow points downhill. And as we move one pixel uphill, we're going to keep count of how many pixels uphill till we reach a maximum. Therefore, every pixel in a flow direction has an accumulation value based on the number of pixels uphill that flow through a, each particular pixel. How do we do that aggregation? Certainly not by hand. We can do the flow accumulation tool We see that along a periphery and on top of hilltops or mountaintops, accumulation values are zero. No other pixels flow into these pixels. And we can see at the bottom of hills or at the low elevations, we can find maximum accumulation values, meaning that all of the surrounding landscape flows downhill through that particular point. The tool requires us for a flow direction raster an output accumulation raster, a weight raster, output data type, and input flow direction type. How do we do this in Python? Let's define a flow direction file for our output. Flow accumulation name. Flow accumulation name, I'll call it Napa FAC for flow accumulation, such that my file is just Napa FAC in my project folder. I'm going to save the output as Napa FAC and in ArcPy spatial analysts tools, there is the flow accumulation tool. Notice the helper pop-up menu here for which file do you want? It says, which is the input flow direction? And I saved it as Napa FDR. All of the other parameters are optional. I'm going to leave them as their default and I'm going to run the tool. I'm going to change the symbology just to emphasize the colors that we see here. I'm going to stretch by standard deviation. And here we see the classic lightning bolt shape of the stream network, which is based on the highest flow accumulation values. So everywhere where it is bright, our accumulation values are very high which means that they should be at the very low elevations. And everywhere that's black have very low accumulation values, which means they should be on the hillsides or the hilltops or along the periphery. So we are essentially seeing where streams could exist. We have not saved our file, so I will save it. Map of flow accumulation save to my flow accumulation file. And I'll check to make sure that it's saved. And it has. 